All right. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So, uh, good morning to you. Yeah, it's, you know, 2.30 Friday afternoon. Got to work tonight. But uh, I just woke up, grabbed a quick shower, got me a cup of uh, French Market here going, and uh, it's my morning work tonight. I uh, was supposed to be off last night and got called in, banging around in the kitchen, you know, fixing me a little nibble, as Agent 00 Devin would say. Got to have a little nibble every once in a while. And uh, the phone rings. So, uh, you know, Fuzzy's dumb enough to pick the phone up. So Fuzzy went to work last night. Anyway, it's a good thing I work with a great group of people that makes it, uh, you know, a whole lot of fun to go to work. We get a lot of work done. Everything's great. So we got a meeting today uh, at work. So I had to get up early anyway. And uh, here we are. You know, 14.30, Friday afternoon. Going to work all night. But uh, it's great. Okay. Um, so let's see what we're going to use today. So I decided today is going to be a Bay Rum day. There's nothing wrong with a Bay Rum day ever. I love Bay Rum. So I've got my favorite Bay Rum soap. This is Cranford's finest uh, Bay Rum Acadian Spice Shaving Soap. It's a really nice soap. It's got a really, 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 really nice Bay, Bay Rum scent if you like it. Um, there's also a aftershave that goes with it. I'm out of the aftershave, but it's a uh, witch hazel base instead of an alcohol base and it feels really good on the face. And if you're into that kind of stuff, you need to check out the Cranford's. And it's a, uh, you know, a fairly simple ingredient list here. Steric acid, water, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, and fragrance. Not a whole bunch of stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, also the guy, Mr. Cramper, is a really good guy. He's uh, one of my moderators over on uh, Toast, OriginalSafety2.com. That's all one word. You know this. I say it every time. The Original Safety, the number two. That's all one word. Dot com. And uh, he's over there. So uh, it's really, 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 really good stuff. I enjoy using this soap. So uh, since I'm out of the uh, Cranford's Finest, I'm going to go with my second favorite bay rum. And that would be the uh, Clubman Virgin Island bay rum. And uh, this one's pretty heavy to me on, uh, on scent. It's really nice. It's a uh, really nice scent. So for a razor, you know, I've been doing some... Uh, auto strop shaves and things of that nature and yada 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 so let's get back to the shicks this is a, a e3 and it looks like an e2 now this one the head wouldn't open on uh, some of the early model e2s the head would open on this one's pinned in place and you can tell it's an e3 because it's got the uh the parallel grooves here in the safety bar and it's got that beautiful you know butterscotchy looking handle and and I could probably hit it with some polish. It's got some plate loss on it, but that just adds character to me. So anyway, the uh, the E3 there is going to be the tool of choice. And for a brush, I took a bunch of my brushes off the counter up here because I, I just was so crowded in here. I didn't have room for anything. But I always leave a horse brush up along with some of my favorite boards. And uh, this is going to be my the brush of the day right there, made in Spain. How long? works for me and it's a mix of horse of uh, the uh, mane and tail and it's got some backbone to it it's not floppy that's going to be a great brush for us so that's what we're going to do today all righty so kudos yes i give those out occasionally kudos today go out to jill get shaving with jill miss jill the other day had a william shaved Use a synthetic brush. She used the Williams like a shave disc. I got that from a flash. Flash, I'm going to use that, by the way. I'm stealing it. I'm glad you didn't trademark it or anything. There's no need to get the lawyers. Won't do you a bit of good. And, uh, but she used it like a shave disc. I thought I should call it a shave cake. Cake or so, because I usually, but uh, I like flash. Shave disc, it is. And then I uh, had her synthetic brush. And then, to top all that off, she had this beautiful curved cap 1912 that uh, I understand she got from Ordinary Shaver. Pretty good dude himself. Pretty good dude. So anyway, she had this really, really great shave with that curved top. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The, uh, the curved top, to me, doesn't really do anything special as far as the shave goes. But, 
they just look cool and I just I love it I love the shave top the uh, curved top there for shaves and uh, so Jill that was a beautiful shave classic as can be just rolled right in and there you go alright well the Cramperts here is, like I said it's a really nice soap it's easy to lather this was the travel side that comes in the jar but they leave enough room in the head of the jar up here that you can get a brush in there you don't really have to have a lot of room to lather soaps I'm sorry people talk about these little containers and they gotta have room they don't want the brush hitting the side and it's like Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's plenty of room. All you did is put some soap on a brush. I don't know. Some people, I'm telling you. But anyway, when I'm using a, a soap in a mug, I kind of like that rhythm banging, clanging, tapping on the side of the mug. All right, before we cover everything up, I didn't have to shave. The boss wanted me to get to work last night, so I said, well, you know, you got to give me a few minutes to show you. I hadn't shaved today. She said, don't worry about shaving. Very, very seldom is it supposed to go to work without shaving. I can count the times over the last lot of years on one hand that I didn't shave before I went to work. And just about universally, it's going to be when I got called in on short notice and they wanted me to go ahead and get there. Now that being said, I've done that before and then broke out my travel kit and got a shave at work. But uh, we don't have warm water in the guard shack at work and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't feel up like doing a cold, I don't like cold water shaves too much. I'll do them when I have to. But that wasn't a have to because the boss had given me a pass. So anyway, wasn't a have to, so I didn't. So check out that lather. Eh, hey, Cramperts, I tell you what, it lathers up good. Smells wonderful. If you're a uh, scent orientated type, it absolutely smells wonderful. Now, the E3 is just as effective as any of the others. And this one's got a uh, nice blade in it. I don't ever know how many shaves are on a blade usually because it's been a while since I put a blade in. So I don't know how many shaves I got on it. But it uh, still feels really nice, so it's not a lot of shaves. But one thing about the injector razors is that uh, you get a lot of shaves from these blades. So that's a good thing. And it's always just a wonderful shave. Uh, short strokes and do a little skin stretching. And I guess probably my absolute favorite of the six is probably the Deb the H2 and it was one of the ones that was targeted towards the ladies I know but that's all marketing it's the very it does very well matter of fact I have one loaned out right now and I'm anxious to see what what they think about it everybody's a big fan of the H1 the hussy we call it and there's a reason for that it's a fine razor once again that was a, a ladies fashion razor but you know don't let that stop you from trying it but um, there's a reason they're all fans of that. It's a very good razor, but I like the H2. But after the, you know, the H2, when you start getting into the conventional models, I call them, some of my favorites are the E's and the G's. And I think the E's would probably be over the, over the G's. And, uh, you know, it's not shave quality type thing. They all give you a really great, easy, close shave. It's just something I like about the ease. I wish I liked my B1 too. But that's another story. Alright, so second round of lather there. You'll notice there's no hoodoo, no voodoo. Just lathering. Just shaving. Not rocket science, folks. Oh, alright. We're going to come across the grain here with a good old E3. Now, she, you remember, didn't call it the E3. That was a fella whose name I can't remember, have or something, I think, have or forth. I don't know. It came up with that. And we use it. But it's a convenient way, and we like to label things. 
and have everything in order. So that's fine. But uh, anyway, so he came up with the listing of the different models when he was doing some research and everything. And then Waits Compendium used his information. So you pretty much the information you find at one is going to be on the other. All right. Boy, that feels like a nice shave after a couple of days of not shaking. Let's get rinsed off and take a look here. I think it's going to be all right. Oh, talking about the curved topped razor. The Demi's, a lot of them had a curved top. As a matter of fact, maybe all the, the Demi schemes had a curved top. But they also made, uh, you know, that was ever, the, they were selling Damascene blades. And I don't know what was special about Damascene blades. So they put Damascene on the razor. And they've got an open comb and a closed comb and yada, yada, yada. And they got the dome top. And I think the, you know, that was the earlier models. Those are started, what, 1916-ish? Something like that. I get confused on timelines. I'll admit it up front. I have to look stuff up. But uh, those curved tops are somewhere around 1916. I thought I sent you a text. Okay, got a phone call, but we'll get back to it in just a minute. So here's what we got today. We went from all that grayish looking stuff to uh, just a nice feeling shave there. And now we're going to hit it with some after we dry our face off. I always like to dry my face off before I put the uh, which hair glue on. You're gonna have to wait. I'm shaving. I'll call you back in a minute. I promise. Alrighty. So there we got the face all dried off. Boy, that's a good shave. Good, good, good shave. stuff but anyway to get back to the uh, curve tops I've got a uh, buddy on toast that sent me a message the other day and he had a uh, curve top 1912 it's not the damn skin it's curve top 1912 I mentioned I was gonna have to find one it's something I don't have and he's gonna send me to it he says somebody's got a little plate loss so do I there's nothing wrong in the world with a razor with a little plate loss, a little character to it. That's just character, I'm telling you. Character. All right. Cleaned up around the goatee. Boy, that feels nice. What a nice shape to get from these old... Uh, and you can pick these chicks up off eBay. Uh, also, uh, Andrew has a uh, gentleman by the name of Andrew has a Estee store, Andrew Shave Shop. And a lot of times he'll have some of these old chicks laying around and good prices, fast shipping. He's a great guy to do business with. He also has blades over there, the Persona uh, coated blades, PTFB coated blades. That's probably what's in that razor there because that's where I buy my blades from, is from him. So uh, if you want to try one of these, it's really similar in technique and everything to shaving with plastic cart garbage except you don't have to put the pressure on like you do with a cart. Uh, these things are just, they're easy to use. They give you great shades. I mean, look at that, what it did. I mean, you can't feel that, but it doesn't get better than that right there. I'm, I'm telling you, it just doesn't. And uh, so if you want to try one of these things, they're easy to find. Check out uh, Anthony's, uh, Andrew's Shave Shop. Tell him Fuzzy sent you. He won't give you a discount or anything, but you can tell him Fuzzy sent you. Oh boy, smells good up in here. Bay rum. Yes indeed, Fuzzy is a fan. So uh, look, y'all have a great afternoon. I'm going to finish getting ready for work, return this phone call, or the three phone calls, because I called three times in a row. It's Agent 00 Devin. He's worried that I've overslept. Because uh, apparently, I don't know, I thought I sent a text. Maybe I didn't. But anyway. Mm hmm. Good coffee, good shave, good friends. What more could you ask for? Y'all have a great afternoon. I'm going to go and knock out this meeting at work and uh, get my night on working this weekend. So we'll see you off and on. And remember, 
happy shaves to you.